ivory tower is being reconstructed which is this wasn't here when I, I definitely didn't leave this here ah. so we are going to do a makere hill tour and where else to do it other than the one and only makere university so this is the main gates overlooking wandegea and ham shopping center somewhere there in the corner so let's enter inside the university and do this video so subscribe like share and this is makere hill Macquarie University, that's CC Hall, CCE Complex Hall. Over eh? there is Post Bank as well. And then down, down there, Macquarie is full of trees. Eh? There's a faculty for law students. So, we are going to tour Macquarie Hill. We don't have a lot of time, but it's like maybe 5 30 pm. But let's see what we can do. I kind of know the place very well because this was my school for three years so I'm excited to see how much has changed since I left this place. Yeah, so down there is the main gate which we've all seen. Yeah, green as always. <laughs> Makera has always been full of trees. Full of trees, some people are playing football. It's even the ball is running on the ground. Actually, I think it's like during the semester so the students are on campus December yeah. could be the ones playing over there university students so let's take a walk on the mighty hill of Makere if you studied here leave a comment because I know it's like millions and millions who have studied in this university honestly it's over 100 years old yeah Everyone comes to Makere, you know, if your parents can afford it, that is by the way, or if you get a government sponsorship, like if you perform very well in your A-level secondary school, but that's like very, very few students, so it's not easy to get a government sponsorship. Yes, yeah, so this is the faculty of IT, if I remember, see Makere University. College of Computing and Information Sciences. So, yep, IT faculty right there. All the computer scientists, this is their school. So, there's so many schools or faculties in here. Ah, uh, so, so many. Makere is very big, like it's a very big hill. It's covered by the university and the students' hostels and the students' halls. The halls are inside the university and then the hostels are outside the university but not too far very close Wandegea, Chikoni very close so the upper route we've got St. Francis Church which is still inside the university but let's pass here so that we can see Senate and the ivory tower Senate is like the Administration block, it's an administration block. The ivory tower as well. The last time I checked, the ivory tower got burnt, eh? so I don't know if it was like renewed or reconstructed, I'm not sure. Let's go and find out. But the ivory tower got burnt, the white and blue building, which is like the iconic picture when you they say Makere, it's that white and blue building. but. I don't know if they worked on it so Let's see this building I think probably when I left it was under construction I can't remember let me just find out just opposite the Senate oh, okay thanks <laughs> yes so the guy says this is called CTF1 Central Teaching Facility 1 indeed I can see CTF this wasn't here when I left. Eh? That's how I know I left this place long, long time ago. Frank Kalimuzo Central Teaching Facility. Maybe it was under construction. If you haven't been to Makere in a while, you're here to find out the new developments that have happened in Makere Hill. Interesting. This is the Senate building. You can see that. Yep. 
when you want to get your transcript, this is why I came to you for a little bit very well. Department of the Academic Registration Building. Yes, so it's an administrative block. And there are also actually, there are banks within the university. Obviously, there are restaurants. I remember how we used to buy food. I don't remember what faculty this one is. I can't really remember. It's been a while. Yeah, there is UBA Bank down there. Yeah, lots of trees. That hasn't changed. So I want us to climb all the way up. Freedom Square Link. Uh, I think this was where there's a faculty of maybe MDD, Music, Dance and Drama. These tiny houses down there, if I remember well. Yeah, then there is a Freedom Square up here. The Freedom Square is a pitch, just like a playground. Eh? Where students gather, there is anything that can just like converge within the Freedom Square. Hello. I definitely didn't leave this here. Jesus. Don't leave this here. <laughs> Let's find out what this one is. Ah! Celebrating a hundred years of Makere. I see, I see. As established in 1922. That's a long, long time ago. And initially it was a technical college and later became a university. That's interesting. Eh? So I think this was to celebrate a hundred years, which was last year, 2022. Here, this is the Freedom Square. See people are playing football. There is, these are actually kids, eh? <laughs> these are like kids from the neighborhood playing around. So and this is called Freedom Square. That's what it's called. It's actually fenced off. Eh? Fenced the whole of it off. Never used to be fenced off. But let's go and look at the ivory tower. Looks like they are reconstructing it. Ivory tower is being reconstructed, which is good. Restoration of the main building at Makere University Main Campus. So that's how it used to look like white and blue. <laughs> Oh, okay, funded by the government of Uganda. Interesting. Consulting team from Sedat Makere University. I think Sedat is the faculty of engineering, if I remember very well. This is good, eh? But uh, I think it's closed off, eh? They closed it off, so. St. Francis Church, people are praying. That's St. Francis Church. But. So there is St. Francis here and then there is St. Augustine eh, on the other side. St. Francis is for Anglicans or Protestants. St. Augustine is for Catholics. But let's go back all the way down and check out the other faculties. Eh? Could actually go and pass in front of the main library. Show you guys the main library. So to think that someone set this building on fire very interesting. Got burnt maybe like four years back, like in 2020 during the lockdown, or maybe 2021, I don't remember where. But why would someone set it on fire? Can you imagine? They literally burnt it. Someone set it on fire. Or maybe it was an accident, I really can't remember. I'm thinking they have to build it back to like its original look, like the way it used to look. I don't think they're trying to change anything. Just feel like they are building it to its original look. Because it's like an iconic mark. Like everyone when everyone sees that picture, you know that's Makere University. The best university in Uganda. Or the biggest. So yeah, let's continue taking a walk. So there is faculty of agriculture up there. But this is the main library. This is actually the old library. And then there is one that was constructed. A bit later but it's also connected to this one Jesus I don't know if it's like normal school days because the place kind of looks unkept there's so many leaves eh? <laughs> some of these trees are a bit scary 
so many bushes and if it's like no more but november yeah november students are like at school eh? so i think it's like no more days of studying because i see students everywhere yeah, this is the main library so if you want to read this is the place to just come book and read remember <laughs> just come and book and read read books jesus yeah so this extension was the new library and then the old one that was like the old library but then they built this new one and joined the two of them if you went to this university ages ago i'm sure this structure wasn't there but the other concrete one could have been there but i remember this in the main library <laughs> you guys hear those birds? Those birds never leave because there are so many trees inside the university. So there are lots and lots of birds. Lots, lots of birds. Students are revising. Oh my god. I haven't been here in a long time. Eh? Interesting. Let me know what you guys think. How much has changed since you left Makere? If you studied here, let me know. Leave a comment. How much has changed since you left? This is the faculty of MDD. So, Women, Gender and Studies Building. Eh? Okay. So this is the faculty of gender. That was MDD, I think. So this, this is under construction. This is definitely new. Women and Gender Studies faculty. Remember, they also had their own library. Would sometimes go there. So during exam period, the main library would get so full because everyone would want to use it. So sometimes you'd come to gender. They had like, like a smaller library, but it wouldn't be too packed, like the main library, so, yeah. And then, ah, <laughs> there is a basketball court, and there is a swimming pool. So this place here has a basketball court. You can see the guys are playing. It's always been here. And then on the other side, there is a swimming pool. Yeah, this is the faculty of gender. You can see it's also, I think, being renovated. Wow, the buildings look so old. Eh? Being renovated. So, let's continue walking. <laughs> Makere Hill Tour. Makere Hill Tour. Yeah, this is the entrance for a swimming pool. This one down there is called Kuruma Hall. It's for the boys or the guys. That yellow building, yeah? Kuruma Hall. Then this is my faculty, School of Economics and School of Business. The seat has changed. Eh? Useful less central teaching facility. Interesting, eh? <laughs> This wasn't here, eh? We never had that eh, when I left this. This wasn't here. School of Business, yes. Economic Policy and Research Center. Ah, guys. Interesting, eh? This wasn't here. Yusuf Lulin Central Teaching Facility. Ah, so the other guy told me they're an upward Central Teaching Facility one. So maybe this is central teaching facility too. But there used to be like an unfinished building where we actually used to have lectures. Yes, yeah, CTF. So this is CTF too maybe because the one up there was one. That's what the guy told me. So this used to be an unfinished block here. I just don't know if they put it down 
or if they built this on top of the unfinished one. The School of Business also has a central teaching facility next to it. Yeah, so let's keep walking around Makere Hill. I know this is many people's university, so <laughs> you can relate. You continue ahead, it's actually, there is a, what is that hall called? Livingstone Hall, College of Natural Sciences, Department of Plant Sciences, Microbiology and Biotechnology, Mushroom Training Facility. There's lots of things inside Makere. So if we slope down, there is another hall as well. Eh? These are halls for students where they can sleep. But usually, because these structures were built back in the day, sleeping in a hall is not even good because they don't look renovated, so the quality of the living structures has gone really, really down. Like, they don't even look good, but... Yeah. This is the Sibura Hall, if I remember correctly. Sibura Hall for the guys, just behind Kuruma. Yeah. Down there, there used to be a rugby pitch, like, people who like playing rugby. It used to be like a very, very big rugby pitch so so we came from all the way up there's more football pitches inside the university students are playing lions leisure park at Makira University okay some trees people can sit in here and relax <laughs> lions leisure park but you can see it's been raining so the place looks wet because of the rainy season. The rugby pitch, like students can come and it's actually quite big. Eh? And this is next to Chukumi Chukumi. People who went to Makere, they know these areas. Eh? People can come here, sit and chill. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys the rugby pitch. We're not going to Chukumi Chukumi, but let's go back all the way up. They show you the other faculties that we've not yet seen. We are back to this junction. So we are going to climb all the way up. Makere is a hill, eh? Like, it's tiring walking around this campus. <laughs> Remember, I used to get so tired just by walking, because it's hilly. Those that would go to Livingstone Hall ah, just don't have the energy. But so let's quarry road. Quarry road. Okay. Do you know what this route is called? It's called Quarry Road. So there are more faculties up there. But I need to show you guys. This junction here is next to the School of Statistics, next to the main library as well. School of Statistics is part of School of Business. And then this one here is the Department of Chemistry. So we're just going to walk through. This yellow building is the Department of Mathematics. When you go through and go straight ahead, there is the Department of Environmental Management. I think that's why this place looks uh, very green and very beautiful. For the environment yeah and then right ahead after environmental management is the department of physics from the physics department i sloped all the way down and came to the faculty of engineers we usually call it sedat which stands for college of engineering design art and technology so this is why the mechanical civil and electric engineers all engineering students study from this faculty so I just noticed that my settings earlier were wrong, so that means I'll do a voiceover. I've done a voiceover while editing. So this route will go all the way to St. Augustine. You can see St. Augustine Chapel Macquarie and St. Francis up there. Then there is Centenary Bank. But we're just going to keep walking. Yep. 
but I think this is going to go all the way to the main gate of which I want to use the small gate this is Lumumba Hall named after Patrice Lumumba so Lumumba Hall is for boys it's for guys but it's known to have like very stubborn students eh? <laughs> if the students are striking then most of the times eh, it will be Lumumba students who like it has a reputation for that for just having a very stubborn big-headed students so if, if anyone was in Lumumba they know what I'm talking about or if anyone was in Makere they know what I'm talking about <laughs> I don't know why it's fenced with iron sheets. Maybe it's under construction, I'm not sure. But that's Lumumba Hall. So this hall here, maybe it's called Mary Stewart. I can't remember, but I remember it's for girls. Like the girls used to sleep here or still do. Yeah, but I can't remember the name, but I'm guessing it's Mary Stewart. I've even kind of forgotten that it's actually <laughs> still here next to Lumumba right there. I think this is Mary Stewart, if I remember very well. Yeah, McCary University, Mary Stewart Hall here. Yeah. And then right ahead there is Complex. Complex Hall is also for the girls. But I was told back in the day it used to be either for the guys or for both girls and guys, but I'm not sure. But when I was in MOOC, it was always for the girls. So The sun has gone down, so sure you guys can tell that the camera is getting darker because actually it's past 6 30 6 35 so what i've noticed is that these holes have never been renovated they like look quite bad eh? don't even know how students sleep in here like they don't look kept eh? so if you want you can sleep in a hall but most students just sleep in a, ho a hostel we will just find a rental and just rent somewhere close to the university and stay there which is what i did when i was at university so i never lived in a hall or a hostel i just rented outside and just stayed there but the halls look worse than i left them so they're not taken care of then down there there is makere college school Marcos. Makere College School is for like, high school students and secondary school, all over and level when it's locked down there. But it's also part of Makere Hill. Eh? It's also in Makere Hill. And then, oh, School of Education. Yes, the teachers study from here. Forgotten. Makere is very huge. So if you want to be a teacher, primary school teacher, a secondary school teacher, this is their faculty, School of Education, right here. <laughs> Jeez, I'd forgotten. This place is big, eh? It's very big. School of Education right here. So just going back to like where the main gate is, this is where this route is going to take us. But we shall connect to the small gate and then exit the university. And go to one leg this is complex hall for the girls you saw it earlier it's next to the law faculty so we're going to cross go all the way down <laughs> i don't know if my battery will allow me to 15 percent and that's my last battery but let's try i want to show you around mitchell hall there is another hall towards small gate Let's see if the battery will allow us to get there. Yeah. These people that we left playing football are still playing football. When we started the vlog, we are playing football. It's coming to seven. Still playing. But it's a Sunday, so you have to, you have to sweat huh? and be ready for the new week tomorrow. This is the faculty of IT that we saw the start of the video we saw earlier oh my god <laughs> when you hear the muslim make that 
I don't know if you guys can hear that sound in the background. Eh? Just know it's coming to 7. It's like 6.45. I thought they make it at 7 p.m. Makere Hill Tour. Let me know if you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Leave a comment. KTS Road. I don't know what that stands for. But that is Mitchell Hall. Mitchell Hall is for the guys. Yep, Mitchell. That's what it's called. So this slope, we're actually sloping, will take us. There is another hole down there which I can't remember the name. I have really forgotten. <laughs> the name of that hole as the exit small gate. I know it's also for guys, but I can't remember the name. Yeah. So that's where we are heading to. Mitchell Hall right there. There's a hangout area there, campus restaurant and barbecue. There is another hole here. Just don't know why I forgot the name of this hole. Eh? Let's see if it's written somewhere. Just can't remember the name of this hole. I feel like I need to ask someone. Eh? How can I not know the name of this hole? <laughs> how how have I already forgotten the name of this hole? No, I'm just, just going to ask someone to tell me. Yeah. It's dark. So someone just told me, this is you at University Hall. Forgotten. We're getting dark. I think it's almost 7 p.m. But also because of the rain, the, the darkness comes quicker than it would normally, than it normally would. Eh? The darkness comes quicker, so left the university so this is one the girl one the girl i'm very very hungry so i'm going to go and look for what to eat as we finish the vlog but let me know how much has my career changed like depending on when you left Leave a comment. I'm interested to know how much changes have you seen. Yeah, that is Dream Restaurant. They say local food, eh? like nice local food actually. But I don't feel like local food, so we go and look for something else. Actually, if I pass here, it would be a shortcut to where I'm going. It's like a small restaurant, I know, somewhere ahead where they sell fries and pizza and things like that, or a burger. So it's the one I'm going to look for. So this big structure here, is one they get market. It's popular for chicken, eh? They sell chicken, like that fried, fried chicken, eh? It's popular for that. But, the place I'm going to is actually very close to here but if you ever want that one day get chicken this is the place to come to all those guys are selling roasted chicken as you see then there is a new mall here snoot hasn't been here I can't remember the name one day guy is actually always busy like even at night this place is ever ever busy Okay, Haj Mustaka Sule Mall. Yeah, so. Street food at night. The restaurant I'm going to is this one. <laughs> but I think they changed it. Eh? Hello! <laughs> okay, that's baby beauty. So I sat in that restaurant for like 20 minutes, almost 30 minutes, waiting for food. Apparently their fryer is broken, so I'm already tired, guys. Eh? But it's night, it's almost 8 p.m. I just wasted my time there, trying to wait for something to eat, but I can't keep waiting. Eh? 
so I'm going to end the vlog here subscribe like share and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye so I came to a supermarket and bought rice and there is some chicken inside there as well yes so I think this is the right way to end the vlog looking for the